Food radiation can increase the variety of products available in the grocery aisles, raise the quality of produce, and provide an opportunity for premium product sales. Irradiation is an effective way to reduce harmful bacteria and increase shelf life. BSA is a specialty spice manufacturer concerned with quality. Quality of spices refers to taste, color, and low microbial count, which means the spice is safe for consumption. My name is Nathalie Rivard. Um, I'm with BSA. BSA was founded by Marcel Barry uh, 25 years ago. We do seasoning for a variety of uh, different customers. It can be meat processing, okay, ready-to-eat meals, soup, sauce, uh, snack, and also vegetable processors. The quality of our, our product are very important. The spices are come from many different countries. Uh, India, Indonesia, Vietnam, China, and Canada, the United States. We have to look at the taste, the color, the granulometry, uh, is there some foreign material, and also we look at the microbiology. Spices can be contamin contaminated up to one million bacteria per, per gram. And with the irradiation, it can reduce by 99.9%. Other treatment will not offer that kind of reduction. Irradiation for us will not change the taste, the color, will not leave any residue, and also is really lowering uh, the microbiological count. The processor, you know, are looking for a very low microbiological count and then it will provide them a, a longer shelf life. The counts are lower when we use irradiation. We've been irradiated for 25 years. So what is food irradiation and how does it work? Meat, poultry and spices, for example, have a variety of microorganisms on them that can make people sick. These need to be controlled to avoid causing harm to consumers. Living things like pests and microorganisms need DNA to function. Irradiation disrupts the DNA and kills the living microorganisms. Irradiation has minimal impact on things which are not alive, such as food. Irradiation is a process that uses energy in a form of radiation, just like radiation from the sun. This radiation comes from man-made sources, such as cobalt-60, electron beam, or x-ray machines. Here's how this energy is put to work. A box of spices, for example, arrives at an irradiation facility. It's loaded onto a conveyor. The conveyor moves the box into the irradiation chamber and past the source of radiation. The box spends a designated amount of time exposed to the radiation. The energy travels through the box to kill microorganisms inside, then moved out of the chamber. The box and its contents are safe to handle immediately and labeled with the Radura symbol, the international symbol indicating treatment by radiation. The box is loaded into a truck for delivery to grocery stores. As an example, Nordian's Gamma Center of Excellence treats food products such as spices from BSA. At the facility warehouse, boxes of spices are received, loaded into containers called carriers, and started through the irradiation cycle. A pool of water safely captures the gamma rays from Cobalt-60 while the product is being loaded outside. Inside the irradiation chamber, enough gamma rays pass through the spices to get a reduction in microbes and enhance the shelf life of spices. Irradiation of food has been studied since the turn of the 20th century and used commercially for more than 50 years. With scientific data behind it, this process is endorsed by international bodies such as the World Health Organization, the Food and Agriculture Organization, and the American Medical Association. 
Retailers like Wegmans and Omaha Steaks are stocking irradiated products to meet the demand of their customers. There are over 60 facilities around the world that irradiate food products. You can work with your local facility to learn more about food irradiation or visit www.nordion.com slash gamma.